Have you recently purchased a CNC router to make precise cuts in materials such as plastic and aluminum? Does your machine use a standard router, like a DeWalt variable speed router, which has no precise controls for setting the spindle speed? For each cutting bit and material, among other parameters, it is important to set a proper router spindle speed, measured in revolutions per minute, or RPM. A typical router used with CNC machines, like those available from OpenBuilds, is the DeWalt DWP611. This and other variable speed routers allow you to adjust the speed with a dial that is labeled with numbers that don't directly correspond to RPM. The DeWalt router supports advertised speeds between 16,000 and 27,000 RPM. When cutting a material like aluminum, getting the spindle speed right can be important to a successful cut. So how do you accurately set the speed of your router for CNC cutting? One option is to use an optical or laser tachometer. Put some reflective tape on the collet nut and measure the speed that way. However, if you don't have a laser tack handy, but you do have an iPhone in your pocket, you can measure the spindle speed with the FFT Analyzer tool in SignalScope X, which can listen to the router with the iPhone's built-in microphone. In order to measure spindle RPM in SignalScope's FFT Analyzer, it is best to set the frequency units to CPM in the tool's display options menu. The two options for frequency units are Hertz and CPM. Hertz indicates cycles per second, while CPM means cycles per minute. When measuring the sound of rotating machinery, such as a router, CPM corresponds to RPM. While in the display options menu, set the peak track type to max under cursor options. This menu is accessed by tapping the small line graph icon on the right side of the toolbar just above the FFT tools spectrum graph. In the FFT tools main options menu, accessed by tapping the single gear icon, it is possible to set the minimum and maximum frequency limits of the spectrum graph. It is convenient in this case to set these frequency limits to lie just outside the published frequency limits of the router. In this example, the minimum and maximum frequency limits have been set to 12,000 and 30,000 RPM respectively. It is also possible to set the desired frequency resolution in the options menu. Keep in mind that 1 Hz resolution equals 60 RPM resolution. Once you have the FFT analyzer configured, it is very easy to measure the speed of the router. Start the FFT analyzer, start the router, and tap on the spectrum graph to make sure the cursor is on. The peak amplitude in the visible spectrum as defined by the frequency limits you set will correspond to the router speed. You can watch the speed change dynamically as you adjust the speed dial on the router.